Um, this class, uh, another unique aspect is there is no exams, no problem sets. So that's good, but that's not totally good because uh, we, we are really focused on training you to, uh, to solve problems. And, it might, and the best way to train you to solve problems is to actually give you kind of realistic problems to solve. And these are the projects. So, so you should expect a lot of uh, coding and debugging in this class, especially if you aren't, if you haven't written like a lot of lines of code before. Even if you have written a lot of lines of code, you're going to find debugging a numerical solver requires some skills that you cannot find in debugging traditional uh, computer programs. So you need to get trained on that. The prerequisites for this class is uh, uh, you need to be very good in linear algebra, not just uh, having taken a class. You need to be really good at linear algebra. Okay, that's, that's really one of the strongest uh, prerequisites. Okay, and you need to have learned about ordinary differential equations, both analytically and numerically. And uh, you need to be familiar with MATLAB. So can I get a raise of hand how many people are really good at linear algebra? Seriously? OK. Um, so is that so, so for people who didn't raise hand, is it because you, are, you haven't touched linear algebra for a while, or, or, why, why, or you are just a feel your at MIT, like uh, the standards are becoming higher. <laughs> Can you say, like, I, 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 I've taken courses in linear algebra, but I wouldn't necessarily say I'm a master of that. OK. OK, so you've taken classes, but you are not confident enough to say, that, that's fine. Maybe, I, I, think, I think in terms of confidence level, uh, some people are really good, but like not really confident in saying they are really good. So that's fine. We are going to find out later uh, when you're actually doing the projects how good you are. OK, so, so that I, I think I'll find out very soon. How many people have taken classes in some numerical methods of solving ODEs? OK, that's good. Uh, how many people have uh, programmed in MATLAB? Not just uh, use MATLAB as a calculator, actually programmed in MATLAB. OK, that is very good. OK, so these two aspects, I, I'm, uh, I'm good. Linear algebra, I, I'll find out. OK, yes? Do we have to use MATLAB? Uh, this class, we, have, uh, we, we are basically set in using MATLAB. So what are you suggesting me to use? Uh, Julia or uh, Python? Julia or Python. These are very good languages. Uh, actually, I'm thinking at some point uh, we may switch, I mean, some point in the maybe next year or something, we may switch from MATLAB to something different, maybe Python or even Julia. So let me see. Many, all of you, almost all of you have programmed in MATLAB. How many of you have programmed in Python, let's say? I think almost the same number. Uh, what about Julia? OK, Julia is out of the question. So it's like, uh, it's like MATLAB or Python. These are two alternatives. So let's, let's get a raise of hand. How many people actually prefer Python to MATLAB for programming numerical things? One, two, three. OK, so less than half. So we'll stick with MATLAB this semester, <laughs> OK? Maybe I think at some point, uh, people, like a lot more people would be familiar with Python, uh, maybe more than MATLAB. That's probably when we want to switch. OK, uh, so we are going to have an individual assessment project that is already posted on Stellar. So please complete it as soon as you can. The reason is that. We have several projects. And actually, the first real project that is actually be going to be counted for your grade 
I mean, the assessment project, we are going to grade it, but like the grade is not going to contribute to your final grade. It's just for assessment. Uh, that is, uh, the, but the real project is going to be posted sometime tonight, I mean, or, or tomorrow morning. So once you complete your individual assessment project, we are going to team you up with another person for these team projects, for the first project, with, which is going to be a team project. OK. So, so please complete it uh, as soon as possible. Uh, submit it on um, Stellar. So you need a you need a write up and a code for the assessment project. It, it is quite small, but like uh, you need to do it like as soon as possible so that we can team you up with another person who has completed uh, the assessment. All right. Yes. Question. So I'm not familiar with Stellar. Do we get emails when we post assignments online, or we just expect to check it and say it? Uh, so the reason when I Post, uh, you get emails. So when I post a message on Stellar, you're going to get emails. But if I post additional materials, I don't think you get emails. So if I want you to get emails, I can post a message saying something has been posted and please check. All right. Oh yeah. Any other questions? Okay. And please find also the collaboration policy on Stellar. Basically, uh, there is no sharing of any written, either handwritten thing or code in between teams, or if it's an individual projects in between individuals. But you are encouraged to talk to each other. But the result of the discussion should be in your head, not on paper or on the computer. That's basically the essence of the collaboration policy. <coughs> Okay, but the details you should read it on step. Okay, any other questions? Before we start the technical part of this lecture?